Hi, let's develop a simple page using Sencharttouch 2.0. And this is the page that we are going to develop. You have a text box where you enter your name and hit your button. You get the message. This page has a simple container which contains the text box, button and label components. Let's go ahead. Develop this page. Have Visual Studio where created a project and copied the basic files from Sencha library. And you have an index.html page. This page has the CSS and JS files included. And inside our script tag, let's get started with the standard ext.application and a launch method have a function over here and here is where we are going to create a container and put in the text boxes and buttons inside that container. Let's get started by creating a container, say a panel, ext.panel is a class which represents a simple container and some properties of the container. Panel has an items property which is a simple javascript array. You create the UI components that you want to put inside this panel. And here, let's start by creating the text box. ext.create the text box class which is ext.field.text. Few properties. Let's have the label for the text box as name. Let's have a placeholder. Say, enter your name and ID of the text box, the name text, which we we'll use it later. And let's have a button, ext.create, ext.button class, view properties, text, let me, and that's it for now. Finally, a label where you want to display a message. Let's call it txt.create, txt.label class. Specify few properties of your label, your HTML, which is blank as of now. Let's have an ID for the label so that it can be accessed later. We call it display label. And let's render this panel, the screen have a full screen attribute. Okay, let's run this. Blue in browser. There we go. Let's quickly adjust the height and width of the panel. Have a height property, say 200. A width, say 300. Let's add some padding, say 20. Let's run this again in browser much better when you click the button you're going to get the value in the text box and display it in a label as we learned in the previous session we're going to have a tap listener configured for your button use your listeners property and let's have a listener for a tap event Let's get the text box on the label here. Let's access the text box. You can say ext.get component. Specify the ID of the text box. You want to access the label. You can say ext.get component. Specify the ID of the label. What you want to do is set the value of the label. That is the HTML content of the label to be hello and get the value of the text box. Let's have exclamatory marks over here. There we go. Tap the button, access the value of the text box, set the value of the label to hello and whatever you have entered in the text box. Let's run this. 
let's enter a name type in Sachin click me get hello Sachin let's uh, slightly add some uh, decorative stuff to the label let me pad it up 60 and let's specify some color color colon red now let's run this in browser lot more colorful there we go